Both boys volleyball and girls and boys basketball finished a great season. Details coming up. Good morning. This is Jackson Morris with CCLS Morning News. The CCLS boys volleyball program has been practicing and playing in league games for the past few weeks, having been split up into the 8th and 7th grade teams. They competed in the city tournament last week. Both A2 and A1 played in the Lutheran Boys City Volleyball Tournament. A2 qualified for the silver bracket, and A1 qualified for the gold bracket, with winning five games and losing one game. A1 received a bye for their first game, and then challenged Green Park in the semis. CCLS beat Green Park in three games, earning a place in the championship. CCLS played against St. Paul de Pere. A1 played hard, but lost in the finals to get to second place for the city championship. CCLS sports reporter Chloe Eggerding caught up with 8th grade boys volleyball player Jason Hong Fu to talk about their season. Thanks Jackson, I'm here with Jason, a member of the boys volleyball team. Jason, how do you feel the entire season went for the team? I feel like we improved throughout the season and we went and got second through the CD playoff. What was the highlight of your time playing volleyball at CCLS? Um, I think just like the friends and like the teammate that we worked together and then we had fun together. Those are some great answers. Back to you, Jackson. Thanks, Chloe. The CCLS boys basketball team did very well this past season, winning city and placing second in the state tournament. This gave them the opportunity to go to Valparaiso, Indiana to compete with 31 other teams in the national championship tournament two weekends ago. The Chargers started the tournament Friday morning against Christ Lutheran from Overland Park, Kansas, winning 39 to 26. That victory put them into the second round later that night against Rockford Lutheran from Illinois. The Chargers battled hard all game long, but eventually fell 48 to 36. The Chargers continued to the next day playing against Concordia Lutheran from San Antonio, Texas. The Chargers played a great game, winning 51 to 34 and advanced up to a matchup with St. Michael's, Fort Myers, Florida, late Saturday night. CCLS seemed to be in control midway through the third quarter, leading by eight, but Fort Myers made a run and eventually won by three. The Chargers were eliminated from the tournament with the loss, but played well all four games and finished with a total season record of 23 and 11. I'm here with Hudson Butterfield, player on the A1 basketball team. Hudson, how did your team grow over the season? I think that we grew uh, in our mental toughness and our physical toughness. At the beginning of the year, we all got mad at the refs and uh, got mad at ourselves after every bad play. But I think at the end of the season, we just got over it and played as we should. That's great. What has been the highlight of your time playing CCLS basketball? Uh, hanging out with friends has been a big part of why I like it. Uh, hotels have been really fun, but also the adrenaline that we get during games just uh, is really fun, and it's a good feeling. That's great. Back to you. The CCLS girls basketball team also made the trip to the Nationals. They got down early in their first game to Winnikin Memorial Lutheran in Decatur, Ohio, but the girls came back to win by three. They advanced to the winner's bracket, but unfortunately lost their next game to Trinity Lutheran School in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. This moved them to the Constellation bracket. The Chargers defeated R. Shepard from Birmingham, Michigan, 44-10. The next game was against St. John from Chaska, Minnesota. St. John was the state champion this year, and the game was a tight back and forth struggle. They had a great game that they battled to the final second. The Chargers had a chance to tie, but unfortunately they lost by two. It was a hard loss to the girls. They finished the weekend strong, and their coaches were very proud of them. They also had a lot of fun with the boys' team at the hotel. Congratulations to the boys' and girls' basketball teams for representing CCLS well in the national tournament. Now, here's Cameron Akerson with this week's Fast Five. Thanks. I'm here with Mrs. Thormanson. Mrs. Thormanson, are you ready for the Fast Five? Let's do it. If you had to use a fake name, what fake name would you make up? Mrs. Patricia Potato Head. If you could eliminate one food so that no one would ever eat it again, what would you just pick to destroy? Oranges. What is your favorite movie? Frozen. If you had to be twins with one person, who would that person be and why? Olaf, because he likes warm hugs and he's wonderful. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would microwave things with my eyeballs. That's awesome. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks, Cameron. This has been Jackson Morris with the CCLS Morning News. Have a great day.